Good evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Wednesday, June 6, 2012. The following are a few examples of trade setups that occur on a consistent basis. These trade setups are described in detail in the trading manual and in Live Daily Shark Den. This morning, the market opened and gapped up by over 8 points. When that occurs, we have what's called a tidal wave. And a tidal wave simply means this. When we get one clean pullback, for example, right here, you can jump on with one contract. Now, if you have just static targets, your first target would be 10 ticks and you'd be out nice and clean. If you had the ability to stay and hold for the day, or at least until the first shark band level, you could have made upwards of 28 ticks or more just on one contract, one trade. You'll notice over here on our anchor chart, we have a range level. We generally don't trade the first 15 minutes of the day after that, Nice clean hook pattern to the upside, target the shark band. Next hook pattern, target the shark band. We had a lot of strength pushing up into that. And then later on in the day, we had a third and final hook pattern. Um, and then it kind of ran up past that into the close. Now, from our trigger chart perspective, each pullback was met with buying opportunities. Here's another eight ticks to the upside on a trend line wave trade. Generally, I don't trade more than two times in the direction of the trend, but with our gap open by more than eight points, we had nothing to, to, uh, to focus our attention on except for long positions. So here we had another long opportunity for six ticks. Broke down. We did not take any type of shorting opportunities at this point. Come back above our moving average for another seven ticks to the long side. Going on into the no trade zone from 11.30 until 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. We then had, we did take an opportunity here. Again, based on our clock method, we had a shorting opportunity for a total of eight ticks. We had uh, basically an inverted head and shoulders for a continuation to the upside. Tried another trend line wave trade, got stopped out for minus two ticks, and then on into the close. In the end, what we were talking about back here is if you do not get a reversal, in order for the market to continue higher, it really has to have a pullback. And when we saw this pullback, that was really assigned to us that here into the close, they were going to push higher. So if you just did a static target, it had up, been out for 10 ticks. If you went on for a longer opportunity, pushing in for uh, into the close, you could have pushed up to the next shark band up here and made another 24 ticks. So all in all, it was a great day. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the Trader Shark Trading Manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you. Have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow morning in the Shark Den.